Hi, and welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of RAF The Battle of Britain 1940. This is from Decision Games, this is the deluxe third edition. Um, uh, this is by legendary uh, wargame designer and especially solo friendly wargame designer John Butterfield. Um, this one includes a uh, two solitaire games and a two-player game. So you can play Germans, you can play Britain, or you can play Germans against Britain if you're so inclined. So let's take a peek at what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Okay, so as mentioned, this is the third edition. This one goes back um, I believe into the 85 or 86 uh, when it came in a much smaller box, uh, paper map, um, you know, back in the, the heyday of wargaming in the 80s. Um, this one is obviously much, much thicker and has got the treatment similar to Butterfield's Enemy Action or Den, uh, where you get three games uh, for the price of three, really, because it does cost a, a little bit more than a, than a regular game. But uh, let's get the lid off here and see what we got going all right so you start out here we've got a uh, nice uh, British pilot here and these are the lion rules these are the solitaire rules for lion it's a matte stock finish comes in at 24 pages uh, mostly it looks like text or some color um, graphics as needed um, you know, describing the cards, the, the counters, so on and so forth. Um, but pretty dense. So this is the British rules. All right. And then we have the lion versus eagle, two player rules, German versus British. And this is a this is 30 pages. There's a nice ad for the computer version. They do make a digital version. You can buy uh, the Lion or the Eagle separately. Um, it'd be nice if that came out like this where you bought one game and you had all the different modes. But uh, And that's available from the Decision Games website. So again, uh, same as these whole rules. It's a nice matte finish. I love matte, a good matte finish. doesn't get the reflection uh, problems when you're reading it. Uh, color illustrations. You get that book. And then here we have the Eagle Solitaire Rules, which of course is going to be the German uh, Solitaire game. So if you want to attack those those wacky those wacky Brits, you can do so. And for the German rules, it comes in at also 30, well, 32 pages. So a little more work if you're going to be playing the Germans in the Battle of Britain. There's your three rule books that are included. And then by uh, another uh, war game designer, Joseph Miranda, we have a uh, kind of an article from, it says it was first published in Strategy and Tactics in 2009, and it is a Battle of Britain history. And that's a kind of a nice throw in here. It's 16 pages, and it's more of a magazine stock. But very nice, very, it looks to be very informative to help you understand. There's a nice map, understand what the simulation is simulating. So you get that in there too. And now we have our tokens, our counter sheets. Let's see what we get here. So we have one sheet of counters here so far. Um, and you got all your various plane types. You got your Spitfires, Hurricanes, Blenheims, and then the um, KGR 606, KG 1s, KG 808s, the bombers coming over, uh, and then the Messerschmitt 109s for their support. And this this may be all the counters we get because usually they're all stacked here together, so we will find out. But they look very good. They're they're a little you know. Decision game is very interesting. Their their later printings, the sheet that they come on feels very thin, right? But then when you punch the counters, they're uh, they're pretty you know they're pretty serviceable. So we'll take these off here, and then they feel all right. So they're not that new 
new style that everybody's going with the, the super thick counters, which I actually prefer a good, uh, you know, a good compromise like this with a little bit of uh, a little less bulk to them. Um, so that's what you get there. We have a card here. Let's see. This is the got the German planning board. This is for the two-player game. And then we have cardstock. These are separate uh, cardstock uh, tables. They are double-sided, but rather than being in a book or in a binder, uh, or not a binder, a um, you know a folio type you know, fold-out uh, sheet. These are individual. So you got your combat results table, combat damage charts. We have a bombing table, optional night raid tables, raid response priority charts, um, two-player sequence of play, lion and eagle sequence of play, weather tables, raid and rendezvous tables, so on and so forth. So the various tables you're going to need to reference. Plastic baggie here. And, uh, insert some cards and a couple of dice down here. So we've got the board. Um, we'll unfold that and take a look here shortly. Let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so I got the cards out of their their plastic here, and let's so start looking at them. They are uh, they are not sorted. Well, let's see if they are here. The first one started out with a radar systems card. Uh, this is just a, um, an indicator to show if they're crippled or active, so that's fine. Um, one thing I'm noting is, is they're first of all they're not a st they're not a standard size. They're more of I guess a bridge size, so they're a little narrower uh, than they are than they are tall. Um, so where a standard card is about two and a half by three and a half, this seems to be more like two and a quarter by three and a half. So if you're going to sleeve them, which I'm going to recommend because these are very flimsy cards and shuffling them is probably going to get them uh, a little damaged so you're going to want to shuffle uh, you're going to want to sleeve these uh, you might be looking for bridge cards or not worry about them being too big if you use a standard card so then we got these strategy cards uh, German strategy a deck of those and then we've got some day cards what happens on the different days uh, day one, three days elapsed, one day elapsed, repair three, so you got this. So obviously these all play into the various stages of the game, but yeah, even some of these are already kind of nicked up just from the processing, so you definitely are going to want to put some sleeves on those. Uh, event cards, approach event, target event, time advance. You got a deck of event cards, and then the event cards carry over to this deck. And we've got our event cards. Got a bunch of those. You got some force cards, which, based on the raid size, is going to tell you what the aircraft are. So we got force cards. That's interesting. This one is the coloration. I don't know if you can see that. Coloration's a little off, and I don't know if that means something, or if these are to be shuffled, or does it not matter? These are just definitely a darker blue than these, and they're all they all just say force card. They don't say this is you know day one, day two, day three, something like that. So very interesting that uh, they are not a uniform back. It's kind of strange actually. But again, uh, know more about it when take it to play. And if you sleeve them, then you may have to use colored sleeves. So see, yeah, there's a drastic color variance there between these force cards. Interesting. All right. And then we've got target cards. And then those feed into this deck. And that is all this deck is. The Flot 2 South. And then they've got their deck, east, south, and it says what they're targeting, Bristol, industry, three of ten, strategic value, so on and so forth. So again, the rules will make all these, these notations clear. But anyway, you're going to get three packs of cards that have some force cards, some target cards, event cards, day cards, and some strategy cards. So, and uh, five different decks. Um, 
you get those. You're gonna get, I'm gonna pull these out of the way so they don't knock over. And then you get two dice and, and a bag, a couple of bags maybe, one extra bag. So you get a bag and two dice in a bag. And as always, we like to make sure that the dice are functional and they are. Very square edge, interesting, all right. And then finally, we're gonna take out this board and take a quick gander. This is the, uh, um, I believe this is the Eagle map for playing the Eagle uh, version, the German solitaire version. And this is a nice mounted map. It's one of the definite upgrades to the previous versions is it's got the mounted map now. And as you can see, uh, it, with most mounted maps, it doesn't lay flat initially, but that, that works itself out very quickly, usually just putting some weight on it overnight and it'll, uh, uh, it'll take care of it. So usually uh, with decision games like here, you have a lot of charts right on the board. Uh, you got a raid planning track. So this is probably used for the two player as well. Um, so here's your map of England. You set up your different flights and your calendar turn marker. So now we'll take a look at the other side. All right, so I was incorrect. The uh, this is the uh, the other side is the lion, which is the British solo and the two-player map. So my apologies. But again, you got the map, but then the different charts are set up for um, for playing those two those two uh, variations. Uh, and then if you're playing the German solo, you would use the other side. So I like how it's a how it's a track as to where they're coming in and where they're going to target and so on and so forth. So really looking forward to this one. This is one I've, I've wanted to, to play for a long time. So, so if you pick up a copy of RAF, the deluxe third edition from decision games, you are going to get two dice. You're going to get the three packs of cards that make up the five decks. We're going to put those back in. You're going to get that board we just took a look at. You're going to get uh, looks like four player aid cards with the charts. You're going to get a German planning board for the two player game. One sheet of counters. It's a very count low counter density game, which is awesome. Uh, you're going to get this wonderful uh, history of the Battle of Britain folio. Eagle Solitaire rules. Lion versus Eagle two-player rules, and the Lion Solitaire rulebook. And that's what comes in RAF, Battle of Britain 1940, designed by John Butterfield and put out by Decision Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!